In the first video, you learnt about the natural greenhouse effect that keeps the earth warm enough for life to exist. In this second part, we will learn how the burning of fossil fuels has added extra carbon dioxide to the atmosphere, and we will see how this leads to climate change. Human-induced climate change, or global warming, we need to understand something about burning fossil fuels. Fossil fuels, like oil, coal and natural gas, are the remains of living things from millions of years ago. They are mainly composed of carbon with varying amounts of hydrogen. If you collect all the exhaust gases from your car during a journey and squash them into a bottle so that they can be weighed, compared with the weight of petrol burnt, the exhaust gases will weigh much heavier because oxygen from the air has been added. Here is a bit of a petrol molecule, H2CCH2. It joins with six oxygen atoms, or three molecules, to build up hydrogen oxide, or water vapor, and carbon dioxide, another two molecules. Before the world became industrialized by burning fossil fuels, the carbon dioxide concentration in the atmosphere was about 0.28%, tiny compared with oxygen at 21%, and nitrogen at 78%, but enough to keep us warm. Without this natural blanket of insulating gas, the Earth would be too cold to support life as we know it. But this carbon dioxide, released when fossil fuels burn, adds to the existing carbon dioxide levels, which are now nearly 50% higher than in pre-industrial times. Although we get a daily supply of heat from the sun, the Earth normally loses this at night and in the cool season, so that the average temperature of the Earth remains constant. But this status quo is starting to change. As humanity adds carbon dioxide into our atmosphere, it is as if we are putting a sweater round the planet. The extra layer isolates the heat and it cannot escape as easily. Whilst it's easy to take off your sweater, the Earth cannot lose its greenhouse gases as quickly, and we keep adding to them. By putting our planet in a sweat box, we are causing wide-ranging consequences for our climate. Some people think that living things contribute to the enhanced greenhouse effect because they breathe out carbon dioxide. But this carbon has come from their food, and that's come from plants which took carbon from the atmosphere in what is called the carbon cycle video for that. Even burning wood doesn't contribute to the enhanced greenhouse effect as long as the trees you cut down are replanted. However, the carbon in fossil fuels has remained trapped underground for hundreds of millions of years, so it is extra carbon that's been added to the natural cycle. We are also throwing away other gases into the atmosphere which help trap infrared radiation, and so also enhance the natural greenhouse effect. They are methane, especially from paddy fields and from cows, and nitrous oxide from car exhausts. Why does this rise in temperature cause our climate to change? Well, there is extra energy trapped on Earth, already causing glaciers and ice caps to melt. With more energy in the atmosphere, weather becomes more extreme, so there are more floods, drought and storms. We have recorded record global temperatures at the start of the 21st century. The next videos look at the consequences of climate change in more detail. So in summary, we recalled that the natural greenhouse effect is a good thing and keeps the earth warm enough for life to exist. However, burning fossil fuels containing carbon that's remained underground for hundreds of millions of years adds extra carbon dioxide, a greenhouse gas, to the atmosphere. We have polluted the atmosphere with other greenhouse gases too, such as methane. All these gases enhance the natural greenhouse effect and cause global warming and climate change.